Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Enter the Gungeon, the Mega Modded series. We are back again and with Never Named to join. Hello, hello. Hey, hey. <laughs> I really hello, thought you gamers. were just not... Wait, I've not even plugged in my controller, what am I doing? Um, I really thought you were just gonna like not speak then and then make me look like a madman. Oh, that'd be a good bit. I should do that, but like, wait, <laughs> like, wait enough recording sessions that you've forgotten you said that. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm here with Never Named. Hello, and then you just never talk. <laughs> Also, by the way, um, I don't know if there's an easy way I can re-unlock things, but because I'm on a new PC, I don't have any of the modded content unlocked that I had on my previous PC. Uh, if you, do you still have the previous PC? Mm, yes, but I think everything's been wiped off of it now. Oh, well, you could have just copied over the save file. Well, I didn't know that. There you go. You, you also could have asked. Well, n most most people have an unlock all command, unlike you, yet yet little Because I don't like putting hours of my life into something, and then people are like, "I want it now! I want it now! I want today! I want tomorrow! I well, want to lock it all up you know, in my pocket! It's my bar of chocolate, and now!" <laughs> do you know what's wo Do you know what's worse? Now. I want it now. Do you know what's worse than putting time into? Cr creating unlocks and people cheating them. It's people never unlocking the things that you made and therefore those things going to complete waste. No, it's because they, they then they feel um, like they're the The sense out. of pride and accomplishment. <laughs> oh dude, no, this is it, the second time I've started with this gun in a row. I started with this gun last episode as well, although we got um, yeah, Rochambeau. We got Rochambeau, so I'm going to take that. Is it Rochambeau that's called? Yeah, Rochambeau. Use the wielder's gun with elemental properties. I really like this weapon. It's really good. Every reload, it changes element. Well, thank you. I, I do appreciate the, the globber or whatever it's called. I put a lot of work into it, so thanks. It's actually not bad for a starting weapon. And you oh. threw it against the wall. What, what, what do you mean I threw it against the wall? What happened? You throw it when you reload. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. I'm glad I never touched that thing in the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because you, you said evil you, little you shit. Started, you misspoke because you're a mush mouth who can't say words, and you said I love this weapon, so I'm just gonna choose to believe that's the canon. Yeah, you can, but um, it's like, now it's I... like Star Wars. There's the old canon and the new canon. Ooh, I'm, canon I'm immune to all like elements too. Twenty seconds ago. Oh, but I, I'm I'm tired at the minute. I've been I've been doing a new diet, and part of that includes getting up incredibly early to go to the gym. So I'm constantly quite tired. How is that a diet? No, that's... It's not... That's not the diet. Going to the gym is part I of the diet. It's part of the diet. I'm trying a new diet, and that means I have to go to the... Is, a diet's just what you eat. Uh, you no, mean, like a physical I, regimen? It's... I don't mean a diet as in, like... Obviously, a diet is what you eat, but I mean, like, a whole thing. Like, a whole... Trying to be healthy so thing. So, like, a whole... A, a whole new year, program. new me. Nah, I'm joking. That's cringe as fuck. I, well. have, but I um, have stayed the exact same me all year so far. <laughs> it's, I, it's astonishing. I have not gotten any healthier at all. And like, I, You've not been eating I the chicken sandwiches from the garage. I keep expecting things to change, but it just hasn't started yet. You've not had many of those chicken sandwiches from the garage. Hello? Hello? You glitched out for a second. Oh. What was the Did last you, thing you heard I, me say? I heard you saying that you stayed the exact same. <laughs> yeah, I, I was. Just I, I heard everything. Like I, you, you, I gotta say, you, you didn't cut out. Hello, what is this? Crown of love. Uh, all chests will drop items instead of guns. Hmm. Uh, that'll be good once you get a good gun. You can still. Uh, oh, to be fair, I can, can still, still get them from the shop. I can, I can still boss. get them from the shop and boss. So I, I think that's overall pretty good, actually. Yeah, you just have to be on a lookout and not be stupid. Yeah. Also, with Rochambeau, my, my base pistol is actually very good right now. It's the fucking the swan off. I still want a key, though. Yeah, of course you do, because you're bad. Um, what, one second. Let me just quickly check something. It sounds like you're, like, a bit quieter than normal. How do I adjust your volume in Discord? While I'm streaming to you, because I can't. You right, to do you that. right click on the face. You right yeah, click on my face. Uh, that, that doesn't that doesn't work while I'm streaming to you. I can't right click on your face. What mm. do you mean? You can't right click on. Okay, there you go. Face. There you go. 
Yeah, for some reason you're at 90%. There you go. That's better. Oh, am I just that annoying that you have had to turn me down? I think um, with my previous audio setup, you are a bit loud, but now I'm on a new PC, I've changed everything. It's all different now. Oh, hello. That's a gun! <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's, it, it's because it's the it same floor. It might only take effect. Yeah, yeah, it's floor. the same floor. But that's actually a pretty good gun to I get, mean, to be fair. It doesn't It doesn't necessarily mean it's the same floor, because you can you can change the contents of a chest at, an, at any time. Oh, can you? Okay. So, so it just it's, might it's not just be the way that, It's that. just the way that this mod specifically works, yeah. Uh, also, yeah. I downloaded two new mods. The Vampire Bulletkin mod, um, which I saw recently, and also Gungeon Craft, which... I, for a long time, assumed was just a modded character, and have since read the description of the mod and realized that that is not at all what it is. You learned to read. Well, it's just because the description doesn't reflect that in the actual, um, in Thunderstore. You have to go onto the Thunderstore website page for the mod to read the real description. You're so bad at this, dude. Oh, amazing. <laughs> we got the Infinity Pistol. That's going to be pretty useful. Well, of course you did. I um, can't, I, you know, I, it's too much for me to want you to be forced to use the, the Globber or whatever it's called. <laughs> the Goober. The Goobledy Shlubedy. Who is this? Who is this? That Hello? appears to be a little girl. Aren't they just precious? Greg the Egg? I can afford Greg the Egg. Oh, it's a companion shop, I think. That's really I, cool. I heard someone talking about this. I, don't, I think this is from Gungeon Craft. I will take Greg the Egg. I would love to take r 2 g 2 It seems that everything's half price in here, because normally r 2 g 2 would be a lot higher price than that, right? That's That character is sickeningly sweet. I wish we could kill them in a boss fight. <laughs> right, I think, we'll, uh, I think we'll go down to the... What's the point in there here? being a, a child if I can't... If I can't kill him. <laughs> oh, I blew up the explosive barrel. Speaking of, you, you invited me to Skyrim. I did. So I've I've recently started a Skyrim playthrough, which surprising, like very surprising to me, is doing extremely well on my channel right now. I was expecting it to get like maybe 400 views tops. I didn't think it'd be very popular at all. I just wanted to play it for my own satisfaction of playing it. And it's got like 1k views already. It's doing really well. So I'm happy about that. I can't that. talk to this man without him bragging about his views it's unbelievable <laughs> he's just um, such a fucking narcissist he just can't I, stop talking about his metrics i'm just i was very very surprised i didn't think it'd do very well and it's, it seems to be doing reasonably well so far and basically the main the main reason for me starting it is i actually did a skyrim series of the very like my, my very first series ever on youtube was skyrim um before i did gungeon way before i did gungeon it was skyrim um and then um, when I got into YouTube again and did Gungeon, once I got, like, I think once I got around 2 or 3k subs, I did a Skyrim again, and I enjoyed it that time. And then I was going to do a new Skyrim playthrough, um, like, maybe 6 or so months ago, but my PC, my old PC, was just not, like, really that good. So I, I, I'd made my own mod list. I was pretty happy with it, but my PC would crash on occasion, and I, I don't mean the game would crash. The game would also crash, but my PC would actually just, like, completely reboot itself and, and, and hard crash, and it would obviously lose I'm the entire sorry, recording. I'm sorry, your computer can't play. Your old computer couldn't play modded Skyrim. No, no, no. It was very little to do with modded Skyrim. It could play it at perfectly fine FPS with the mods that I'd installed. But your computer couldn't play Skyrim. Well, no. And you blamed us when this game crashed. <laughs> no, it, it, it could. But obviously, I've modded it fairly heavily, so it was more. Um... Oh, wait. I've just realized something. Is there any way to switch element with this weapon? I think it's on reload? Yeah, but I can't reload this. Oh, well then I guess not. Maybe you could switch to another gun and switch back. Let's see. Because I, I want... I'd rather have it be uh, fire, to be honest. Let's see. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, nice. I'm glad that I can replace the critical yeah. thinking centers in your brain. Well, I'm, I'm, this week I'm going to start uploading our portal playthrough, and that is going to really show people how my critical thinking brain works, because... <laughs> oh, oh, boy. God, you oh are boy. so <laughs> fucked. <laughs> oh, God, there's an enemy there. Um, oh, boy, did did uh, did Nevernamed basically have to play the game for me? <laughs> yeah, uh, he's yeah. 
so bad. Like, I, the, the, the worst part about it is I've literally played through Portal on my own before and had very little issues. But as soon as it came to actually trying to record it and talk while I'm playing it, couldn't happen. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> so many of the puzzles, I just sat there and waited for Nevenim to explain how they worked. It's 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 hilariously bad. Wait, so but it's going to be doing it on purpose. Now, sometimes I was, but most of the time it was just genuine you stupidity. You little rat. You little rat. Speaking um, of little rats, Mickey Mouse is in the public domain. Oh yeah, I know, I saw. What's all that about? It's crazy. Ooh, I want some curse. What's some all that curse. about? It's it's the co it's copyright law. Well, no, I know, but it's just like kind of crazy that it happened. Uh, but and anyways, it's, back, it, back we've, to... We've been knowing this is going to happen for like a very long time. I just forgot about it, is all. It's like being surprised that the queen died. Yeah. No one's surprised. Um, quickly to jump back to what I was saying originally, we will get back to Mickey Mouse, of course. Um, will so we? Will we? My, my, my old, one of the main reasons I got a new PC is my old PC had this weird issue. There was a genuine fault with my graphics card. It was just part of the graphics card that I bought that I didn't know about at the time. Uh, basically, there was like three versions that were released, and I bought the first gen version. And the first gen version just has a hardware issue where the graphics card um, can just like reboot your PC if it gets like too overworked. Um, and so when Skyrim was playing, it was a fairly intensive game when with all the mods I had on it. And so playing that as along with a lot of other games, I think Baldur's Gate 3 did it quite a lot. My PC would just reboot and obviously if I, was, if I was recording when that happened, I'd just lose the entire recording. And so I gave up on the idea of Skyrim. But then now that I've got this new PC, which is a literal fucking beast, it's basically the best PC a consumer can buy. Um, now that I've got this, I can play Skyrim on like ridiculously modded. Like the, I'm, I'm playing through a mod pack, which was like all, like an auto installed pack, and I had to do it myself. It was like two thousand and something mods. Um, and uh, is that Greg the egg dropping the ammo? I think it is, isn't it? Um, uh, I think so. Yeah, probably. That's maybe. very nice. I don't know. But um, yeah, I will now take credit. the Skyrim playthrough that I'm doing now literally requires a forty series card, so a really modern card because it's so intensive. And it's really fun to be able to play through a modded Skyrim that's like, actually like looks and feels like a modern game because it's got that many mods on it. It's crazy. It's insane, and so I want to start the series know, again. New game of 2024 is it's incredible. Like Skyrim. Yeah. I never thought they were going to to get. You know, I thought we peaked with Morrowind, and then Skyrim came out. Yeah. In 2024. <laughs> it's crazy. And it just, the gaming industry has been changed forever. It is absolutely wild. <laughs> Ooh, what, what does this do again? I don't know. Is this the one where it'll rotate around me? What happens probably. if I do the goob gloober? <laughs> uh, probably does... nothing. <laughs> It'd be funny if it still well, was able I, to no, be thrown. Ooh. That would be really stupid, and I don't think that would be how it works. <laughs> the alligator. Um, fires clips that clamp onto enemies and periodically channel electricity from the player. Energy output is proportional to the player's damage stat and increases further while rolling or while in electrified goop. We can produce electrified goop, that's good. Each clip channels the full energy um, output and to up to eight clips can be attached to an enemy. Passively grants electric immunity. Well, that's good. So we'll definitely buy that because that seems interesting. Um, and... I, I'm, I'm going to use it a bit first, but I think I might actually give it to this and have it float around us. I think that could be quite fun. But let's actually use it first and see. Ooh, that's really cool. And then can I swap weapons? Nice. Yeah, I can. This is, this is definitely from uh, Gungeon Craft. Yeah, I guess the Gungeon Craft mod basically was described as... Um, a, a, a mod that tries to do things like experimental with um, different Gungeon tech and stuff. So I'm so happy guy, to see this. The guy who makes uh, Gungeon Craft, I th it's Captain Pretzel, if I recall correctly. Dude's All a right. fucking genius. <laughs> There's been he's a like lot of geniuses so, in there. He's so clever. He, he just pulls shit out of his ass that would take me months to make. And he's I like, yes, yeah, so I made right this gun that Damn it. behaves nothing like a regular gun, but still works. And I'm like, well, I can uh, hit, hit a gun 
<laughs> gun. So there. So there. Right, okay. So let's um let's actually give this to the thing. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna be really sad. Hold on, yeah, let, me, okay, let me just check. Oh, ho, ho, oh drum that's gonna mag. be terrifying. Good old drum mag, I love drum mag. Yeah, it, it is pretzel that makes Gungeon Craft. Oh no, scary loot bag, scary loot bag. Loot bag's fine, get over yourself. <laughs> I just have bad memories. And jetpack you, mean you as have well. bad memories. Did loot because bag beat you uh, up and over? Have, have you not seen my horrendous, horrendous error that I made with loot bag back in the day? It is... I know, yeah, I have heard of that. Yeah, I, I I went from three full hearts to dead over spike traps because I kept trying to retrieve the money that I dropped from loot bag. That's not the loot bag's fault. I still, I still have, I still have nightmares That's of the you. loot bag. That's you having, like... <laughs> oh wait, I think it only How fires on reload. the dominant species? Okay, so unfortunately it's seeming like the alligator doesn't work, which is a real shame. It just it's just not firing. Womp womp. Like, I'm not sure why though. <laughs> well, I know that Pretzel codes a lot of his uh weirder guns in a very unorthodox way, which is why they're all so cool, but also means that some of them like Don't function how they should in certain ways, yeah. Yeah. That's a bit of a shame, because it's a really cool gun that I now wish I hadn't have done that to. I would have rather just use it, but... I thought it'd be cool to have that ability, like, working passively. Yeah, that's that's why that's why I do the jank way, because the jank way, more often than not, actually works. I, I'm being so mean to Pretzel. I'm sorry, Pretzel. Your guns are so <laughs> yeah, cool. I, I gotta just say, have to, I have to bully you to compensate. That's, that's I, what I do. I, I, apo I apologize, Pretzel, for not having played this mod prior. Because genuinely, based on the thumbnail and description, I thought it was just uh, one character and like a few custom weapons. I didn't realize it was like a, a big mod pack. Yeah, Pretzel. It's not Pretzel's yeah, fault, so, really. So, not... so there. Ooh, heavy bullets. Yes, please. I, I need any and all self-assurance I can get because I'm just being outclassed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pretzels great though. I love them. They're very they're, they're very nice. Everyone in the Gunshin modding community is very nice. No, I'm, I'm there. There's a I'm single there. bad egg. I'm there. Hi. You're not a bad egg. But, Fuck uh, you. Uh, at least now we I just can be have a this. Bad egg if I want to be. We now just have this nice sprite floating around us to keep us company. So true. Greg doesn't count. He's terrible moral support. <laughs> Who's whose mod is Greg? Mine. Oh, is that okay? He's one of the first companions I made, and he's so janky. <laughs> hate Greg. He's terrible. You can't hate um, Greg. I should like to point out, I do not have the permission of the original Greg creator or Fiend Folio to have Greg in this mod. I just, like... Wait, we've know... got Crown of Love and Crown of War. It... Who makes these? I think that's... June. How is this not a synergy? Also, what... what, what, what what's gonna happen? <laughs> um... <laughs> hmm. We'll find out next floor, I guess. See, so, yeah, I do not have permission from the original Greg creator, but no one's complained so far. Yeah, I don't and, think like, it they matters. They are—they are credited. I think. I think. Yeah, they are definitely credited. And like, he's just a funny little guy. I think just that a him little spreading goober, yeah. across the roguelike sphere is like. He's just important. a little goober. On new shrews, one heart content from the player and spawns a random chest. There's a high chance to spawn better chests. Can't be used to players less than two heart containers. Um, starts with zero chance to enter a room, apply a green fire. Um, I, I remember mean, wishing all being good if you're willing to sacrifice HP. Yeah, I, I think I am. Ah, that's just put my chest. It is going to put my curse up pretty high. I'm guessing the, the chest costs keys, though, right? Still? I, I do assume. not remember. I would assume. 
Uh, it's a special API item. I know it has a funny visual. Right, let's find a, a decent room to spawn it in then. It does have a funny visual. Ah yes, a brown chest. So worth the heart container I spent. With... Where the fuck uh, is it? An invisible chest. It wasn't locked though. And it gave you a gun. Yeah, but brown chests often aren't locked when they're spawned like that. Uh, well, I don't fucking know then, governor. Do I? Do I now? I don't know. That's a bit Have sad, like... Gooning? Gooning? Um, like the Gooner game? Sorry, yeah. that's such a bizarre thing to pull out. I, I fucking... <laughs> Anyone who knows what that is is just rollick either rollicking with laughter or has left. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Um, so it's somehow become a meme. Because it's a very, like, they're like the new furries and that it's like oh, everybody Lord. loves to bully them. Oh, Lord. But I've also seen, like... The, so the word goon has been completely ruined by the internet. Much like everything. So, how how family friendly uh, do I have to be? Not very at all. Okay, so gooning is the fetishization of pornography addiction. Fringe. Oh, really? I've already got immunity. Oh, wait. Okay, it's a synergy at least. Ah, oh, it's not the synergy. I was hoping it'd be a synergy with Rochambeau. It's not. God damn it. Right. What are that? Are there any other types of immunities? Or is it just fire and poison? And electricity? Just fire, poison, electricity, I'm pretty sure. Oh, technically there are other types of immunities, but none that are actually, you know, used. Yeah. Oh. Um, but yeah, there are just some people who are like, yeah, pornography has ruined my mind and body, and I love that about it. Hmm. And it's very sad. And it's an example of Ooh. why, uh, we should bring back asylums. There's a lot of people that are, like, just, just made wrong. But at the same time, it's so fucking funny to make fun of. I, I know some people who just use the term goon as, like, insert funny word here. Yeah. And it's just ruined that like, now. Hey, guys. No, it's made it better. Hey, guys. You just, you know, another hard long day of gooning with the boys. Oh, Lord. No. But my best, my favorite one by far, I saw it today, is um, always be gooning always be henchman maxing, always wear an ill-fitting suit, and say, sure thing, boss, to anything, regardless <laughs> of context. That's how you know you're based and goon-pilled. Fuck it, And, you know, I, I sent that to my friend and said, if I ever say I'm gooning, this is what I mean. <laughs> oh, the internet. What a, what a wild place. What Man, a I, wild, lawless land. I know so much shit that would make you, like, turn inside out. In, I, I'd say I know a good amount of, of horrible stuff, too, but you probably do know more. You're, you're more of an internet dweller than I am. Which is meant, to, is, is, the... is meant as a compliment. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna ask you something, but I think that might act just saying those words might actually trigger the YouTube the demonetization. Yeah, no, the murder algorithm where they send a uh, ro robot uh, clones after you to kill you, like Terminator. Let's not then. <laughs> My God, this finger gun is very good, by the way. Came out of an S tier chest, and you gave it a heart for it, so better yeah. fucking well be. Speaking of, I was looking at um, uh, Exit the Gungeon's code earlier, uh, just to put it on the wiki, because yeah. there's some stuff, like, I I'm rewriting the page for Jammed Enemies, mm -hmm. and I am, I, uh, I wanted to look at the code for how combos are handled in Exit the Gungeon, because in Exit, 
combos are what determines how many jammed enemies spawn. What do you mean by combos? I, I, don't, I don't really remember the game the, all that much. The core mechanic is that you build up a combo oh, meter. Oh, that, yeah, that yeah, the, the little meter in the bottom left, yeah. The top right, actually. Wherever, yeah. I, I, I played the game, like, for two hours and then wrote it off as a pile of trash, so I don't really know anything Stop. about it. Stop! You should be shot. I'm going to goon you into the abyss. I tried it after the big update and I still didn't like it. <laughs> oh, because you suck. You have no sense of fun. It's just not a very good game. <laughs> it's a great game. It's just not for you. I really fucking like it. You also don't like Inscription, which means that you should be killed. That is true. I don't like Inscription very- Oh, fuck's sake. Speaking of games you don't like, Undertale's gonna be like 10 years old next year. What the fuck, really? I thought it was like 7 at max. Well, it's gonna be 2025 next year, right? God damn, yeah. And Undertale came out in 2015. Shit me. We've Things been, do be dealing. old. It's it, about now it's like eight or so, eight to nine years old. But it's still incredible that we've been dealing with Sans Undertale for almost a decade. Yeah, people have never let that go. Why, why should they? It's incredible. <laughs> I love Sans Undertale. To be fair, I will say a positive for Undertale is that the community has gotten way less cringe over the last like three years. No, yeah, the community now is great. It's just a bunch of people who are like, <laughs> like, isn't it funny that Sans Undertale is his brother died? Lol. Basically, it seems like all of the people that were just jumping in to annoy people and be in on the meme have gone, and it's just left with the actual people that are fans of the games. Hi, hello. I'm an Undertale fan, and I don't, I won't really lie. I was one of those cringe people back in the day, though. Oh, yeah. But that's because I, I, I was a child. I, I was a child. I fully expected that of you. So, we are getting guns uh, now, so I'm going to drop this so I get items again. I also don't really want this because it's cursed. Hitting, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to take that, I'll be honest. I've, I've got too much cursed right now. But, yeah, I, I was one of the cringe Undertale kids back in the day because I was a child. Yeah. I'm, I'm 20, 21 now, and Undertale came out in 2015, so I don't know how old that would have made me, but... It's like, yeah. I, I remember, I remember, like, when June, um, first joined my Discord. June was insufferable, like, just, oh, just... June, June is still insufferable. Oh, Lord. Uh, one, what does this mean? Do I trade an those S tier are, item for... Those are quality tiers, what? I'm Talk guessing at see maybe they have advice. You can't. Oh no, there you go. You can. My trash is your treasure. That's all they say. What is he? So it, I don't really want to give this up because this is an S tier gun that I very much like. So let's hold this it and see what happens. It might be that you're trading. It might be that you're trading guns for items. But these seem like this one seems like a gun, right? Strike pack. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Um, Might not be. Not interested. Okay, it, it seems like that's the case. Do you have an what? A tier gun, maybe? I, for don't, I don't think I do. Oh, uh, uh, the Thunderclap is A tier, isn't it? Is it? Give me something better. I'm pretty sure it, oh, it used to be A tier and it got lowered. Oh, fucking. I can't trust anyone these days. Oh, no, it is A tier. You're right, it is A tier. Weird. Give me something better. No. Fuck off. <laughs> what about if I is that try... The, is that the... Obs Sorry, what's that? The last gun in your inventory? Is that the Onyx Oh, wait, there's blaster? a sign here. Drop an item whose quality is at least the quality shown on the item you wish to trade for. So it has to be at least the tier that's shown. So, so if I... Drop an item. Wait, they say it had to be an item. Drop an item. Oh. So I, I can't trade with this guy unless I want to get rid of Rochambeau, which I definitely don't. That's cool, though. Uh, as, an, as an NPC, I like that. That's a, that's a good idea. I also love the way he looks. He looks so cool. He looks He's just a funny little guy. I find that so difficult to design interesting-looking characters. I think you've done a pretty good job with your, um, your characters, to be honest. One of my characters is a fucking cum blotch. Don't tell me that. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I was a cringe Undertale. 
I arguably am still cringe today, but like a different kind of cringe. Yeah, I, I, I'd say that's about right. You're a man look. Don't say that. <laughs> I'm, I'm 6'4", I will stomp you. Yeah, I gotta say, you are significantly taller than I am. Um, yeah, you're, you're the manlet in this relationship. Ooh, this is sexy. Looks like fucking... Yeah, a just mysterious liquid monster is long. It does. It's sexy. Oh, which one of you, which one of you fuckers implemented a bleed effect? That's mine. It was part of the um, part of the biting bullets, whatever they were called. What, what are they called? I s I'll sue you. Toothy I'll bullets. Sue you and uh, at least it's not like the same effect. But I'll sue you and you you I'll I'll take you to court. That's not out of the public domain. I'll fucking eat you. Well, taking you to court isn't out of the public domain. Yeah. I'll take you to court and then I'll sue you for being in court because that ripped off Saul Goodman. <laughs> nice. Cool. Was there anything else in the shop I might have wanted? No. Let's go. Not gonna trade this heart away just in case we're getting to the flaws that I have now. Also, did you watch the last Gungeon episode? Uh yeah, I think so. I just don't remember much. Your videos kind of suck. <laughs> I actually played really well. I think the break from Gungeon has actually made me actually try rather than just oh, having yeah, foggy I remember brain. That, yeah, I like, remember I that. Yeah, you played semi competently, and it was yeah. a shock to all involved. I gotta say, I th I think genuinely the break from um. The break from Gungeon has really helped, like, remove the sort of fog of I'm good at this game so I can play how I want and constantly doing terrible because of that. Can you fucking stay still, you spidery fuck? It made you fucking, you know, play the game. It did. It's fucking crazy. Oh, hello. I think genuinely half the reason I bully you so hard is because you don't like Inscription. We'll make it like a better that's, game that's in our... That's just it. I am! <laughs> I'll, one, one, once, uh, once all the cool mods are in, I'll give it another go. What the fuck? Ex <sighs> that was a fun room. Some... Oh my god, it's funny little guys. They're cute, but like, can we not have them instantly shoot at me the moment I walk through the fucking door? Yeah, they might need a longer in... I think you can set an initial fire delay for enemies. You might want to look into making that a bit longer. Uh, yeah. Real, or Lichten or whatever I'm calling you now. I hate people who change their username on Discord. It makes it so impossible to tell what like who to insult. Yeah, I I'll be honest. That does also really annoy me too. Especially when like I'll take a break from the Gungeon Discord and I'll come back in and no one is the same. I'm the same. Yeah, I, I mean, you change. are. But Except, Except for all the times I changed my username, yeah. but you can always, you can always kind of tell it's Ooh, me because the nice. username will be something stupid. But yeah, it's 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 super difficult when um, I, I jump back into the Discord and I'm like, who the fuck are all these people? Oh, these are just the people I knew before. Yeah. This this weapon, messenger, it fucks. It's so good. That's concerning. It fucks. Shotguns aren't supposed to go up there. But they can. They but can. They can. Yeah. There's Told nothing you I've stopping seen some shit it. On the internet. <laughs> nothing stopping it. I'm having a good time with this run. It is good to be back. Oh yeah, I, I mentioned I was looking at the code of exit and yeah. Looking at how the combo meter works. Turns out the combo meter works, like, differently. Depending on if you're using touch controls or not. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Thank you, Greg. And also, um, the combo meter works different. Oh, no. That it's so stupid because... 
So bosses are always more likely to be jammed than enemies for some reason. Yeah, that's a bit strange. And I don't, I just don't understand that. Oh, for fuck's sake, you stupid cat fucking... Mm. Leave me alone. Big cat Bosses fuck. are more likely to be jammed than enemies, because if I get my, my notes out... <clears throat> there, what did you just smack putting my notes on the table. Oh shit, that's some hefty notes. Um, so yeah, at 10 curse, enemies, not curse, at 10 combo is when enemies start getting jammed. They start with a, what is that? That's a 0.1% chance. That's it's quite low. <laughs> yeah. And uh, again, again, okay. The, these, so just, just a, just a little thing for whoever makes the, these rooms. Please put the minecarts a little deeper into the room, rather than right next to the door. It might be that the minecarts start at random positions? I don't remember. No, I just mean no, the works. rail. The rail that's here just needs moving in a step. Fair, yeah, fair enough. It's too so close to the door. Curse, at, at 11 curse, enemies have a 0.2% chance to be jammed. Oh, uh, not curse, combo. Combo, yeah. And at 11 combo, bosses have a 3% chance to be jammed. So 0.2 for normal enemies. That's quite a large difference. Bosses. Yeah. And it goes on like that from 3 to 3, uh, 0. Uh, uh, no, so it goes from 3 to 3.5%, to 4%, to 4.5%, to 5%. And then at 16 combo, it goes down to a, a 1 again. Like to to one percent. What the fuck? It goes so, from five percent chance for a boss to be jammed. It climbs at up and then goes down. Combo. Yeah. That's weird. Is that not just like a, a coding up. error? It's it, it must be some sort of mistake, and I, I'll have to check if it happens with um with regular controls because that's just for touch controls. I haven't checked reg regular controls yet. The fact that they're even different is astonishing to me. Yeah, but... very strange. Man, code is so fun. I love the part where it doesn't make any fucking sense. God damn, that was scurry. What the fuck is this? Explosive props, I mean, to be fair. I feel like that makes sense. It might be just a chance to explode. Yeah. Or maybe it only takes effect on a new floor, I don't fucking know. I'm not a code scientist. I'm just a monkey at a typewriter. <laughs> right, um... Probably just want to use this thing, to be honest. This thing's been pretty good so far. Eyes oh, jammed, yeah, goddammit. I, I, I might, I might genuinely die here. This is a Spongebob reference. Like, I'm normally decent at this guy, but I'll be honest, I'm not sure how it'll go with this. Also, the Temporal Rounds is doing a great job of saving me right now. What's that do again? Uh, just basically, do you know the gun that the uh, Pursued starts with? It basically gives that yeah. effect to all of your bullets. Wow, that's really disappointing that that's your frame of reference, because I made that code for one of my guns and... And well, the pursuit. Uh, all people know who's. Oh, fuck yes, I love this gun. You're so mean. You're so mean. I've been outshined. My legacy is. My star is fading. I'm washed up. I'll never be. I'll never be on Hollywood Boulevard. When was the last time you updated your mod with a new thing? Hmm. Um. Um. Yeah. So I like, cares the fucking you butter fingers, this. god damn it. You deserve this. You deserve if I, if this I yeet this man. weapon, which is one of my favourite weapons, if I yeet this into a goddamn puddle, I will shit on your lawn. Do it, the lawn needs it, it's looking a bit <laughs> sad right now. <laughs> is, it, is, is that because you want it fertilised, or you, or you genuinely think a shit would cheer it up? Listen... 
is there a difference? <laughs> like, if you were, if, like, if you were alone and someone, like, gave you epic food, would you would both be cheered up and revitalized. It's like if I gave you a McDonald's cheeseburger. Hmm. And then I wouldn't call a McDonald's cheeseburger food. epic food, to be fair, but yeah, I get your point. No, it's 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 epic food in the same way that I'm an epic gamer. <laughs> <laughs> Just make me want McDonald's, though. Whack Monald. Mac Lonald. Indeed. <sighs> Dude, this, yeah, me, Charles. Really making me I'm yawn little, as well. I'm a little sleepy. I am. How long have you been awake? Since, um... Around 10 this morning. What time so is it now? about 12 hours. Okay. That's not, too, that's not too bad. It's not too bad, he says. Little does he know I'm a freak of nature. <laughs> Little does he know. What do you mean by that? I know exactly that. Oh, he doesn't know. Look, look. <laughs> oh, he's so cute and pointless. Well, Rod, remember when this thing was like absurdly overpowered? Yeah. Yeah. Back in there. Back in the fucking day, when we were young and we'd frolic under the under the persimmon tree. Oh, good. Hey, ammo for this thing as well. Love it. Where do persimmons come from? Uh, I don't even know what that word means. So. Are they like a tree or are they like a ground fruit, like a tomato? I don't even know what that is, so I have no frame of reference here. <laughs> You've never heard of a persimmon? Nope. I don't huh. know what that is. What about uh Kamba de Bagabada? Yeah, definitely I've heard of that. Everyone has. Yeah, Who of hasn't? course you have. You're you're British, of course you'd eat that. <laughs> have you seen that um that video that's like uh top twenty British food British snacks. Number twenty Broken glass. <laughs> <Yeah>. Number 19. <laughs> you dirty needles. <laughs> Number 18. Botted dick. It's not even that far off, to be honest. I feel like a lot of Brits will be would agree with the list. Number 17. Cigarette butts. <laughs> oh, why is it so fun to make fun of you? Have you seen the latest mean ca mean meat canyon shot on the uh, fucking British chip shop Tuesday thing? No. Oh, you should watch it. Go to his shorts and watch it. It's it's hilarious. It's just like completely taking the piss out of this British YouTuber. That oh, it's so funny. It's the epitome of what? British. I made you fucking chippy. I'm gonna, give me a chip, a chip, I'm gonna give me a chip like, butty. Basically, the guy is like almost incomprehensible. You can barely understand him. And he's like, I, It's me, I've got my chip shop Tuesday. We're gonna be eating these chip shop. You can barely tell what he's anyway, saying. It's like. To try to do. It's amazing. You seen that, that clip of Winston Churchill being incomprehensible? Yes, I have, yeah. At any rate, that is what we're going to try to do. Beautiful. Incredible. Look at the chops on that, oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Gun. Oh, gun. I fucking... Yeah. The big fuck-off gun that's it's right in big. front of you. It's big now. I forgot about that. You have no peripheral fish. Are you, you're like a deer. Well, it, it, it wasn't that I didn't see it, it was more that I completely forgot that that could happen, so I wasn't looking for it. As you know, deers have greater peripheral vision. I say, yeah. Because they're always on the lookout for sexual predators. No, um, not quite sure if you got that right there, but... 
No, I think that's correct. I, I you know, David Attenberg. David Attenberg told me. Attenberg. Yeah. World-renowned nature scientist David Attenberg. <laughs> gun, you drop. You drop. Yeah, I gun. got it. I got it. I got it. Is that is that the Onyx Blaster from Terraria? I don't know, but it's difficult to use on controller. I don't think it is, but it looks a lot like the Onyx Blaster from Terraria. Yeah, it's, it's certainly not easy to control on the controller. Eh. Right. Let's go. Boss man time. The question is, what are we what are we doing today? Are we are we doing this and then Skyrim, or are we doing this and then another one and then maybe Skyrim? I don't know, what do you feel up for? I've got like the whole day today, so. What do you want to do? It'd be cool to do another Gungeon if you're down for it. I will be 100% down for it, my friend. Yeah. My amigo. My my main man. you got to call my, me your amigo. My, my big squeeze. <laughs> my main squeeze. Nah, you're my big squeeze, you know? I'm loving temporal bullets right now. There's just like a, a constant armada of shots. Okay. Let's do this thing. I'm uh, working on art for the Magnificus mod at the moment. Oh yeah, he showed me some of that. Like genuinely, like that that collage of like six or so um, pieces that you showed me. That might genuinely be the best art I've ever seen you do. You've done a lot of good art, but that is, I think that might be the best you've ever done. Yeah, which is why you should all go and download Magnificus mod on uh, inscription. It's only six ninety nine. It's made by it's made by me, an autistic child, and like two other people. I thought you said me and autistic child. <laughs> and an autistic child, <laughs> yes. Yeah, his name is or first name autistic, last name child. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll pop this again just to see. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Chest teleporter sucks so big. It's an interesting item, but you have to get it on like the first floor for it to be actually like sort of usable. Of all the secret loot systems in Gungeon, why is there not one that makes chest teleporter never show up? <laughs> It should. It should exist. Make it. This mod needs... makes... Re rebalances the loot pool and all it does is disables <laughs> chest teleporter. It just needs, like, changing to be a little more, like, interesting. It It's not very interesting as it is. And to not fucking delete the chests. Yeah. Oh god. But yeah, I've been basically revamping a lot of the old mod art, and it's been fun, because it gives me an excuse to go all out on Yeah, my I art. mean, fr from what I've seen, you definitely have gone all out with it. Because generally, I try to stick within the, um, the style of the game, and I, I always take artistic liberties with it, because, like, ultimately... You want, you, you want to be within the style of the game, but you want your own flair on it, yeah. Yeah. And ultimately, I don't care if I'm breaking style if the outcome looks really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, uh... I do... Oh, sorry, I yawned. <laughs> I defined the style for uh, Magnificus mod because I started doing all the art back for it back when it was first starting out. And Which means that you have a lot of liberties to say. Uh, yeah, the style is what I say it is. I am God. I control the universe. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, this guy with his edgy dialogue that I wrote. You wrote this? Yeah. I wrote some of it. 
Uh, this is Bunny, right? Yeah. Yeah, Bunny was asking for help writing dialogue for this guy, and I gave him some edgy lines that I thought sounded good in the moment. But seeing them in game, it's like, uh. <laughs> what? C cringe. I don't think I wrote any either of those ones though. So. Lovely. I've always found this guy a bit of a strange boss. He's like, I think he drops too much loot. Like, yeah, maybe he, like one or two less pickups. He's he's not he's not particularly easy. He is kind of a hard boss when you first learn about him, but like, he he sets you up so well for the lich fight because if you manage to do him without getting hit or even getting hit once, you normally get a chest and a good bit of HP and sometimes ammo as well, and it sets you up so I do well for the feel lich like fight. That's that's also like something that was missing from bullet hell in general just loot yeah yeah it's it's one of those things where it's kind of like i like it having a boss and having extra a way to get extra loot is good it gives more purpose to the floor but it does make the lich fight like a good bit easier on occasion so i've got to do got to do master bleen next because for all of you fucking giga chads who like inscription and play mocks You'll know that Master Bleen is a Mox Master. Ooh. Good old Mox. Yeah. I, I swear to God, I don't get what you don't like Inscription. You're just so boring and bad and dumb. I just, like, the, the first act was was okay, but I, I, I found it overly repetitive. Um, I didn't think there was enough content there to, to really draw me in, so that's why obviously modding and stuff will make that a lot better. The second act I did quite like. I think the second act was better. Um, the third act I just I played it like twice and was like nah. It was it just seemed like the same as the first act but worse. That's not true, and also you should be gooned to death. I I'm also like. I'm just, I'm not a fan of puzzle games, and that game added, like, puzzles to, like, it has a good base, and then adds puzzles on top, and I just, I'm just not a fan of puzzle games as a whole, really. I wonder why. Yeah, it's because I'm fucking terrible at them. I just, I just love bullying you, dude. It's just, you make it so easy by just being so stupid. <laughs> Thanks. I'll take it as a compliment. <laughs> no worries. Anytime. Anytime. You know, a lot of friends for. Why do I slip into like a casual Brooklyn accent when I'm being mean? <laughs> you have this anytime, like. What a you, have this, for. you have this bully persona that you've created. Uh, it's just one of my headmates. I'm schizophrenic. Help. Little, little friend that lives in there. Friend. Friend is a strong word. A strong but accurate word. God, that's that's always like when I was a kid, I'd be like, I hate you, and then uh, parent, uh, ad adults' parents would be like, uh, hate is a very strong word. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I <laughs> hate the point. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I never said that. I wasn't point. that kind of like edgy, rebellious kid who said it to my parents because I actually I've I've always really liked my parents, but like to other people, I would be really mean to them. Because they were mean to me, and I felt like it was my only way out. And uh, so I'd be like, I I hate you, and I want you to die. <laughs> Put your penis in a blender. Oh, Lord. Um, and, and then uh, people around me would be like, that's very harsh. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Man, where did the years go? When you were just small, EP so, little baby. So happy, so happy and full of life. Where did the years go? How long do you think it's going to be till someone makes a fucking compilation of the weird shit we've said? Oh, God. I uh, I dread to think, because it will be weird. I'd love that, because I've been watching fucking Oni Plays compilations recently. Man. I wish I was funny. <laughs> I wish I was funny. There you go. That was actually a very good run. And I think I played reasonably well. 
We're going to roll it back for round two for next episode, so get ready, people. Yeah, I'm probably just going to keep talking about whatever the fuck I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, like, we, we've done that with previous <laughs> episodes where we just continue on. I, I remember there's like an episode of Gungeon we did after recording Half-Life where the Half-Life episode you were talking about like the nuclear bomb and you just continued the conversation in Gungeon even the nuclear throne in Gungeon were uploaded at completely different times <laughs> like like weeks apart and I'm pretty sure yep. Gungeon came out first <laughs> so people had to like wait weeks to sit to hear the beginning of the conversation oh and I bet they were on the edge of their seats <laughs> Because I know that I'm peak entertainment. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, but it is good to be back, and I hope you guys did enjoy a jump back into Gungeon, but also a jump back into me and Never Named talking about random crap and him bullying me profusely. Anyways, we'll end the episode off here, and we'll continue on another run um, and jump off from there. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you'll you guys. You'll never see me again. I'll, I'll see you again, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.